Christopher, welcome back to Copenhagen. What brings you to our lovely city? I mean, it's always a good vibe here. This is my third time around now. I think the men's wear is really strong, so I'm looking forward to that. It's always nice. You see people you know, you get to know new people. It's very different than the big top tier cities like Paris and Milan and London. Um, in the sense of that it's a lot more for the consumer and about the influencers. Um, it's quite refreshing to have such an honest approach to fashion. Um, it's not just always about the editors, which is nice. But it does make the show start late every now and then, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, at, having been here for three seasons, how are you thinking, seeing things change and progress over the seasons I mean, and grow? Cecilia, the CEO of Copenhagen Fashion Week, just launched this new initiative, which is great. I think one of the things, what she said, is by 2023, if you don't adhere to certain guidelines, you just can't show on schedule at all. And I think that's such a good template um, to take as an example for other fashion weeks. It really sets you know, a standard on fashion brands and also a pressure to be better. Um, so that's exciting. And then looking forward, as I said, to the menswear. Brands like Solen are great. Um, Woodwood's showing. Reigns is showing for the first time, as well with a brand that everyone should follow, which is Division. They just did a partnership with Adidas, and that's one to watch for sure with a recycled um, and upcycled fabrics. So that's like a big next brand that people should get behind by Simon Wick. Shout out to Simon Wick. You hear it here first. Oh yeah. Thank you so much, Christopher. Enjoy the show. I'm, I'm not going to let them wait for you anymore. Thank you for having me as always.